She doesn't have any bad dreams because she's just a piece of plastic. Uh, uh, I've probably done a video about this in the past. Well, yeah. I need to start... Oh, curva. I need to start deleting videos. Or re-uploading them. That'd be good. But anyway, more importantly, yeah, so... Oh, oh. Let's do me. I was just revisiting. I was on the uh, Encyclopedia Born Idlers the other day. Revisiting uh, the Castle Bravo Laugh Riot. <clears throat> the Jolly Jape that was Castle Bravo. That's better. Bit closer. Bit closer so you can see what I'm saying. So Castle Bravo, what a laugh. What an absolute laugh that was. <laughs> it was a laugh though. <sighs> yeah. So you've got the you've got the one that everybody's heard of. The Tsar Bomb. Or as people like to call it, the Tsar Bomber. No, it's just a bomb. Don't pronounce the B on the end. Don't be a fanny. Just call it a, it's the the Emperor Bomb. Bomb to end all bombs. Holy fuck sticks. Ain't that some ain't that a big bastard, that one, that fifty megaton. That fifty megaton laugh riot that the Russians dropped out of a plane. I mean it, as a as a viable weapon system, it isn't. It's not. It's just not. Well, actually, it is because you can put them in torpedoes, as as Putin has discovered. You can. <laughs> you can have a. You can have an autonomous submersible carrying this level of warhead, and then and then you then you're talking. Oh, oh now you're talking. So that's a that's an awesome delivery system, is that? Yeah, yeah. You can have a you can have a few of them sat up, sat sat here and there. Brilliant, brilliant. However, so the Tsar bomb that they cracked off back in night October nineteen sixty one, I think it was. It was airburst, <clears throat> and but it didn't touch the, the, the fireball. The shock wave coming out of it bounced back up and stopped the fireball touching the ground. And also because they had, because they'd redesigned it, they were wanting it to be a hundred megatons, a hundred megatons. But they, they redesigned it to 50. And so... I mean, you're 50 megatons, 100 megatons. You know, it's, it's, just a, it's just an exercise in masturbation, really, when you get that size. This part of what I read last night... Last night... <laughs> was um, the possibility they could have made it a gigaton, <laughs> which is a thousand megatons. So you get kiloton, megaton, then gigaton. A gigaton device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's just, just for shits and giggles, let's just, well, just let's, let's. But Castle Bravo is a, um, Mm, it's something that you can you can look at it and take take a moment. As a resident of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, if you're still clinging to the idiotic Ming Mong fantasy that you know 
you can go to Scotland and, and if it, if <clears throat> if nuclear war is imminent you can you can get in your car and drive to Scotland and you'll be alright. If you still harbour that it's beyond fantasy. It's it's Have a look at the Castle Bravo laugh riot that ensued at Bikini Atoll. The Americans were, de were testing a device. device, And they'd calculated it up. The te the, what they wanted was five megatons. They were, they were expecting five megatons. Well, they got 15 megatons because they'd... They'd miscalculated things, and fuel, the fuel that you, that was being used in the bomb, more of the fuel was converted to fuel, or more of the whatever the whatever the hell the bomb was made of was converted into fuel than they'd calculated. And the problem is. There's plenty of photographs of Bikini Atoll. There's plenty, you can see images of it. And there's images of it from the air. But what these images don't give you is the sense of scale. <coughs> because you can make out the islands and it's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a coral, coral reef or whatever, whatever description you want to give it. It's an atoll. Or an atoll, depending how you yeah, depending how you pronounce it, and it's like a ring of of islands there. You're looking down, you're looking down on it, and you can see that. Oh yeah, oh aye. The device went off over here. And as you look at the photo, as you look at the photo, I'm sorry, the device went off over here, and it and it sort of the scientists were over here in a bunker. Well, they cracked it off, and then, oh fucking hell! <laughs> they're rattling round in this bunker, and all, and all bits of coral are like raining down from sky, radioactive bits of coral. Because again, the American device was in a sh was a big old monstrosity. <laughs> it was in a shed. It wasn't. It wasn't a deliverable device. I think it was 1954, so you know the the, the Russians had a, a good few years to to just to get theirs just so when they dropped it from a plane. But nonetheless, the the American device, Castle Bravo. It was a series of tests called Castle, and this was Test Bravo. I think that's there. Anyway, as I say, it was a it were, it were you know what's the word uh, ground burst. So there was just radi there was just radiation all day long. Radi radio radio oh fucking hell. But the thing to take from it, the thing, when you look at it, when you look at pictures of it, the, the, the shot going off, a massive fireball and just total destruction and crater in the ground and all that. Oh, excuse me. And the most important thing to take from this is the, is the scale of it all. As I say, the pictures don't do it justice. Because you can you can see the whole island. It's like, oh well yeah, yeah, look at that. We don't realise from what altitude that photograph's taken. Where it was set these guys in the rattling around in the concrete bunker of other set of other end at Atoll. They were 20 miles away from it. If 
you go on a route planner here in the UK and you and you put in from and a to from Leeds to Barnsley okay that'll get you 23 miles you think oh yeah but that's three miles further yeah but when it when it displays up the route you look have a look you have a look at that squiggly line there that you've you've created saying leads to Barnsley or Barnsley to Leeds. I bet if you if you just drew a straight line from Leeds to Barnsley and from Barnsley to Leeds, it'd be about twenty mile. That's it. You trundle along the road, it's it's twenty three mile. Twisting and turning and, and huffing and puffing and what have you. Is it in a straight line? I bet it's 20 miles. So Castle Bravo, the, the guys were sat in a bunker in Barnsley. And they cracked the device off in Leeds. And they were rattling round in the bunker. Oh, yeah. And they had to stay in the bunker. Until all the shit start, stopped coming, up, coming down out of air. The worst of the radiation and the worst of the fallout had, had fallen out. And the guys in helicopters came in and picked them up. Quick. Quick. When you go out, when you, when you go out at bunker to get in helicopter, don't fuck about. Get straight in helicopter and let's fuck off. Because everything's radioactive. Everything's, everything's covered in radioactive fallout. 